Welcome to Talking Live. I'm Dr. Robbie Ludwig, right here in Starshot Studio in Times Square. And who does not love a summer wedding? It is the most popular time to get married. And I know a lot of people have that on their agenda. Weddings to go to. Well, we are interviewing an internationally renowned wedding designer, Madeline Gardner for Morley Designs. And we're also going to be talking about not only how to be beautiful for your wedding, how to find the right gown, but how to get the right brows. And we have someone from Benefit who is also their national spokesperson that's going to show us what's in now for brows. So don't miss this and, and write into your, your questions that you have because we have experts right here that can answer for you. Madeline, thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having me. I was telling you that I was like living with you all weekend and it made so me fun. happy. It really did. How did you get interested in designing wedding gowns? Because that's really a specialty. It is. It really is. And I love it. But, yeah. Um, I started at a young age. I graduated FIT at the age of 19. Oh and I so young. Yes. It was a two-year school at the time. Mm. We, we only had to get an associate degree, whereas now it's a four-year program. It's yeah. all changed. Yeah. But um, I thought I was going to go to Hollywood and be the next Edith Head. But I started doing evening gowns, which I loved, and I did junior dresses at the same time. And lace was very in at, at that moment. Mm -hmm. So I would cut up laces and play with them and make blouses and skirts. So I said, you know, I love lace so much. Yeah. I really want to give a shot of bridal. And here I am. <laughs> now, did you design your own wedding gown? Because we were talking about yeah. the, the nice thing about talking about summer weddings is that it just it brings up memories of your own wedding and just people that you care about and love. You did not design your own. I didn't. No. I didn't because I come from an Italian background. Uh -huh. And we have lots of superstitions. And one of them, oh. being Italian, is you're not allowed to make your own wedding gown. I'm sure that's just an old wives' tale now. But um, we happened to be at, on a family trip in Venice, we were, and we walked by a bridal shop. And my mom says to me, there was a dress in the window. And she says, you have to go in and try that on. And I tried it on, and we carried it home. And under the bed, it went until, our, until the day before my Don't wedding. Don't you think when, when looking for a wedding gown, it's like you kind of know. You do. And I think a lot of brides have an idea ahead of time of who they want to look like or what they want to look like. And I love I I actually copied down a quote because I thought it was so beautiful. And it was a quote that you said, we know that when we create a dress, we're not just making something to wear, we're making magic. It is. And it there, really is magic. And it really is when every woman gets to be the star of her own day and the focus. And really, you get to be a fairy princess. You do. And that's what you create. It's the most important dress you'll ever wear. Absolutely. It really is. And you have to feel special and beautiful and comfortable and look exquisite that day. All eyes are on you. Absolutely. It's so true. Now, there are different trends that happen Absolutely. in terms of wedding gowns. So, um, you know, different seasons and different things are in. Take us through. We have some models. I don't know if it's premature to bring them no, in. No, I'd love but, to show the dresses. Um, I mean, you are going to just be blown away when you see how gorgeous both these models are and the dresses. Why don't we bring in our models? Um, tell me a little in. bit about this dress and what's trending right now for summer. Okay, so Megan's wearing Lunette. She's a beautiful gown, as you can see. Jessica, <laughs> but by the way, I feel so bad. She's <laughs> on the skirt. Did you want to sit? Sure, thank you. Like, oh, she's like a high five. She's going to show us how to do brows. Yes. Okay. So as you can see, this dress has a little hint of sequin beading, very light. I call it frosting because when you move, it just glistens and, and the way the light hits it. But the trend now, as you can see, is very body conscious. It's all about the fit, comfort. I'm so glad I got married. Oh, I, I, really, I really am. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> and as you can see, this has a sheer illusion bodice. Yeah. It's, it just shows a hint of skin. But the applique is a place so strategically that yeah. you really, it's very modest at the same time. The plunging neckline is key right now. Okay. 
almost straps that really you almost don't notice them they blend into the skin it's it's almost lingerie look in a yes, sense yes yes i was gonna say isn't that isn't it gorgeous yes. and underneath are all stretch linings so there's special bra cups in there we we do make them where you can have a bodice lining you can wear it either way with or without very soft comfortable look fit to flare gown but at the same time it's so elegant and and perfect for any setting Anyway, it really is beautiful. And what about this next gown? And it also has a little bit of a lingerie. It does. It, does. it almost looks like um, what you'd see in Hollywood. Exactly. It I has love that it. Glamour appeal. It's very ethereal in a sense. Yes. This is the Lenore gown. This is a Venice lace on netting. As you can see, she has a beautiful open back. It's so much back detail now. The girls love having a special back because. Really, when the ceremony is happening, everyone only sees you from behind. Yeah, so yeah. why not have a beautiful detail there? I've noticed even some of the jewelry, like the necklaces, yes, go I, to the back. I and love I suppose it. that this is the perfect kind of dress Absolutely. for something like that. Now, you're not engaged. The, our other model is engaged. But this yeah. is what you will look like <laughs> yeah. when you get married to that lucky guy yeah. out there. Ready? Yeah. No. What is that? <laughs> yeah. We like to offer a lot of different services. On the show. So back making is one of them. Cool. How does it feel? It's super comfortable, and I love that it hugs the body underneath, but you have this layer yeah. on top, oh, so you can feel at ease and mm -hmm. comfortable, and you know a little it can bit more sit freedom. and move. And that's yeah. one of the things that very really important. You need to have very important on your wedding day is yes. you need to feel comfortable. Absolutely. Absolutely. The girls, I hear it over and over and over when they're trying on their gowns. I want to feel comfortable. I yeah. don't want to be tugging at anything. Right. So that's very important. Also, the, the look of the tradition, is it still plays a role in the wedding gown selection, mm -hmm. but it's a modern tradition. And that's what I love being able to create these new looks for our, our modern brides. Yeah, and and really, it's just creating inspiration. And we were talking a little bit about how this is really a historical moment yes. for both the bride and the family. The family yes. And when I was preparing to do this segment, I kind of brought out some of my old bridal so pictures, and then I asked for my mother's bridal yeah, pictures. Yeah, and right. and I, so this is really something that lives on in a family's history. It does. And in some cases, you know, this could be worn again. Absolutely. You know, a daughter could want to wear it. Absolutely. Um, There's my so daughter doesn't want to wear mine, but she's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> but, um, but there's also the huge trend yeah. of brides wearing two gowns now. Okay, so let's speak to that because I think, and we'll show the royal inspiration a little bit later. Okay. But what are you doing that's different for the second bridal gown? And how many people are opting for that? Well, we found that it's close to 50% now are wearing two gowns. So one is called the ceremony gown, which okay. is the first dress yeah. you'll wear. And the second is the reception gown. And then sometimes there's a third for the after party. But usually it's two. Do we borrow that from other cultures? Because when I think about people switching gowns, I think about like in the Chinese culture, sometimes Absolutely. they would do that. They wear every course is yeah. a different gown. So they can wear up to 10, wow. which is wow. incredible. I should have been born Chinese. I know. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but I think there's a celebrity influence there as well. People yes. love to be able to give a different look. It's a perfect moment for Instagram, for your oh, photos. Right. And, and usually it happens around when the cake's going to be cut. Now, do you find that people want a similar look? So if they have something that's ethereal and lacy for, you know, the ceremony, do they want something similar? Usually it's different. Usually okay. it's different. It may be a different neckline. It may be something... Um, more sexy in a mm -hmm. sense or more like an evening gown feel so we we design gowns in in many different shapes and forms mm -hmm. obviously but some girls will go for the ball gown first and then switch into something slim as megan wore the fur, mm -hmm. the fur gown she just came out in or it'll be something even without a train where it's just a little sweep at it's the back easier to dance, dance in. in and party the night away 
So do you find, since you are internationally known and recognized and um, you really appeal to people all over the world, what are you noticing in terms of trends? Uh, are the trends different in different countries? They can be. Yeah. Um, it, it's really interesting. Sometimes we have a great dress that just goes around the world. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. It just happens that way. But in different countries, there are different traditions, as right. you know. So take, for instance, Italy. It's a very Catholic country. So maybe they won't wear the sheer bodices or the, the plunging necklines mm -hmm. as much. But they may do that for their second dress. They may slip into a very sexy dress for the second one. Or places like China or mm -hmm. anywhere in the Far East or, or the South American countries also, they love to wear a big ball gown first and then they'll change into a slimmer, much sexier dress as well. Have you ever been asked to include um, parts of, let's say, a family dress and modernize it? Yes, I have. I that have. must be exciting. I've done for friends where uh -huh. I've taken dresses apart and remade them, but it's it's great to look at older dresses, as we all know, we, we pull from wherever, right? And pull that look and bring it into a modern dress. What are some of the um, trends to look out for? Is it cap sleeves? And also, I just want to mention that Morley also designs Mother of the Bride, Bridesmaids, Air, yeah. Bridesmaids, and there are also different trends. And this is from your site. Yes. Um, and I know that there are different trends for bridesmaids as well, that sometimes uh, a bride will say, pick a color, and you can choose whatever dress That's you very, want. very common now. Um, I love that trend because not I everyone looks good in the same dress. So it's really easy. We run 36 colors in our bridesmaid mm -hmm. collection and many styles. So someone can go to the site and go through and shop at one of our retailers and they'll, they can pick any dress that works best for them. I, and, I, and it looks beautiful too it because does. everybody is different. My niece actually got married two years ago and she did that with her bridesmaids and they were all different shapes and sizes and they looked gorgeous and it was the color was the same and it was interesting oh, it, it, and it, it didn't is. take away from the bride. I thought it enhanced no. the bridal party and, and made it look that much more beautiful. One of the things you talk about which I think is interesting and I wouldn't necessarily think about this a summer wedding, you have to worry about things being hot, and sleeveless is not necessarily cool. Is no, that correct? not always. Okay. Because sometimes skin, touching skin, right. causes perspiration, as we know, but it really depends on the bride and what she's comfortable in and mm -hmm. what setting you, I mean, obviously, if you're outdoors and it's very warm, Usually it's strapless or something strappy like Megan is wearing now. Mm -hmm. But it, the off the shoulder. And is engaged. Yes. <laughs> so and you're giving a sneak preview as to something you might wear. Absolutely. This yeah. is something I would definitely consider wearing and would love to wear. <laughs> <laughs> very my style. Um, I love how fitting it is and the very thin strap. And do you feel sexy in it? Very. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's nice to feel sexy yet appropriate Absolutely. for your wedding. Absolutely. You know, you just, and also it's something you don't want to be tugging at. Exactly. Because if you're tugging and uncomfortable, that really takes away from your day. You it really does, and it shows to, in the photos yes, and everything. You have to free your mind Absolutely. because you want to be with everyone and take in the moment because it goes by so quickly. It does. It, it does. really does. Uh, one of the things that I'm always struck by, and we can go through some of the other photos that we have beautiful photos of just some of your other gowns, and there is a bridesmaid example. And, and quinceañera, which, which is kind of like the Spanish Sweet 15, up. yes, right. exactly. Right. Exactly. And a gorgeous dress. Thank oh you. Well, the royal wedding has always been a huge influence and we definitely saw that with Meghan Markle because oh, wasn't it that amazing? yes and I want you to tell everyone because if you want a Meghan Markle look-alike dress <laughs> you don't need to look any further because you can get one at Morley and please tell us how you design this the backstory <laughs> oh it's, it's a crazy story but it was so much fun yeah um I watched the wedding live, obviously, and sketched it. And, and we, we have some pictures yes. also of the design. Now, there it is. This is what you designed. Yes. 
And this is the original. Look how amazing that is. And then um, we had the dress, both dresses actually made within yeah. three days. And, and then on our site, and they're already selling. Now, how much does a gown, like, how much do they range? Because everybody has a different price point. Absolutely. So the gown that Megan's wearing now, this retails about thirteen ninety nine. Okay. Which is a great price that point. That is a great price. A great I was price expecting point. something much more expensive. No, well, the average selling price across the United States is around $1,200. Oh, okay. That's what most brides spend. Which is still, you know, it's for one night, but it's one night that lasts a lifetime. throughout the lifetime right. and, you <laughs> it's know, true. the lifetime and future family history, as we were saying. Absolutely. And so we have a couple of other um, inspired, we have Princess Madeline, who Beautiful. is the princess of Sweden, and we have Jack. kind of our own local homegrown royalty, Royalty right? Jackie Earl. Jacqueline right? Bouvier Kennedy, who was always a fashion icon, huh? and that dress is absolutely... Which now, is okay, so oh, I should not put myself ever next to Princess Diana, but <laughs> I just wanted to point out that when I got married, Princess Diana, I mean, I looked up to her and oh. I thought I watched her wedding and I just was obsessed with her beauty and her kindness. And I, for my wedding, I you kind of found gorgeous. the dress right away. What I loved about my wedding dress is I didn't have to dye it. <laughs> I didn't show my arms. Everything was poopy. It was like really it great. Was okay, so let's move on. Um, okay, so we are going to talk about brows also and how important that is so Jacqueline is here from from benefit and you are their national artist yes national brow and, artist and brow artist and really I mean I in the past I just would think about oh you just wax your brows but really it's getting a lot of so much more it's yeah, so much more there's to so it. much there's yeah. so much more to it tell us a little bit about what your role is when it comes to the bride. And should we have one of our brides? Yeah, we'll have Megan take a seat. Absolutely. Megan's gonna sit down. We're gonna also um, take we're gonna look at some of the recommendations that you Yes, have. absolutely. So tell us a yeah. little bit about and I'm gonna I'm gonna get my yeah, well, we really, we feel like brows, you know, it's just as important as the gown is on your wedding day. Yes. You know, you're always looking for the perfect shape and fit when it comes to the gown. Same thing when it comes to brows. Yeah. And also you want long wear too, because of course it's your big day. You want to reflect back on that, those pictures, those right. photos, and make sure they look amazing. Yes. So in fact, we're doing a great partnership with Morley. I love it. Now amazing. stay tuned for this because you're going to want to hear it starts in July. Okay. Yes. So I say there is a special partnership going on, which will allow some lucky person to win a gown. Is that correct? That is correct. So you can also look to our website. We'll have more information about that. But tell us a little yeah. bit more about what your role is in terms of making the brow stand out. Sure. And I even noticed for Meghan Markle, it was an after it was after her wedding, they pointed out her brows. Her brows. Yeah. And yeah. how I mean, they were too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did that too. Yeah. You did that too. Yeah. Okay. So tell me, because in my day it was Brooke Shields and the heavy brows. And yeah. If you wax them one too many times, right. they're not growing back. Fuller, <laughs> bigger brows are definitely in. And okay. the great thing is that when it comes to benefit brow services, that's a great way to get them in shape before your big day. Yes. And we also are known for customizing your brows. Brows are super transformative. You know, mm. a different brow shape can totally change your face. And brows really are what kind of keep the eyes open and sparkly, right? right. And wide awake. And they frame your face. So you can actually get brow mapped, which is part of our partnership oh, with Marley. Now what is a brow map? Brow mapping is amazing because it's going to use the focus point of the face, the uh -huh. nose, okay. to find the perfect start, arch, and end for your face shape. Oh. So I can actually show you here on Megan. Yeah, show okay. me on Megan. And again, we kind of work off of the nose. And from the inside groove straight up is where the brow should start. Uh huh. Then to find your perfect arch, you're going to work from the outside edge of the nose. And look you can actually eyebrows. look straight ahead for Megan. Right? And that would be the arch. And the brow should end from the outside edge of the nose where it meets the outside edge of the eye. Okay. So that gives you a really good guide uh -huh. as to how to even start to fill in the brow if you need right, to. Right, right. And then we actually use a great long wear pencil on Megan today, which would be perfect for your big day when it happens. <laughs> and the great thing about this pencil is it's super fine tip. Mm -hmm. So you can really use the edge of the tip for hair-like strokes. So kind of working where you need it and just kind of using a flick of the wrist 
to get those hair like strokes is all you need. You have a spoolie on the other end to soften and comb. So now, this gives can you precision. Any makeup artist do this or how would somebody find a brow specialist like yourself? Sure. Do they call Benefit and say, hey, I, I need this for my brows? Yeah, I mean, any Benefit boutique, they know brow mapping. Okay. So you can head to your local Benefit boutique. And this is free, we should say. The brow it's mapping complimentary. Absolutely. is complimentary. So if you are a bride or mother of the bride, yeah. or just oh, even God. if you're in the bridal party, because everybody's getting noticed on that special uh, day. Yeah, and it, it allows you to find that shape for you that works best which yes. is good yeah and is there a certain like shape face that you should like if you are a bigger bride is there something you should be doing differently with your brows yeah, I think brow mapping allows you to find that perfect shape because we're working off of the, the focus of the face okay. and it's also going to allow you to work with the eye shape and face shape as well and of course we know there's preferences when it comes yeah. to filling in the brows and yeah. you know, giving that that new shape so we work with that also that's great and yeah. um how long does something like a brow mapping Oh, Take. it's super quick. And okay. again, with the partnership for Maura Lee, they can head into a benefit boutique and they get a complimentary brow mapping so as well as a, a quick makeupper, as we like to call oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they get both the makeup yeah. and the brow mapping and then they get part of and they can enter the enter contest. To win. The contest. Yeah. Yeah. So all our brides need to run to benefit. Yeah, they absolutely. Do. Great partnership. They do. That is so now, how did you guys find each other? Well, it, it came to us. Kind of a so match, it, right? Yeah. yeah. It, Bridal it, and makeup. It, it was just coincidental, but the makeup is so important. It completes the look. Right. So you spend all this time searching for the perfect gown. You yes. have to have the perfect face that day as right. well. Right. And yeah. also, this is yeah. the time that, and first of all, everybody's Instagramming, Absolutely. right? Their photos. Yeah. And just you're getting close-up photos. And I was speaking to a professional photographer, mm -hmm. and you really have to consider changing your look a bit for the yeah. photographs that are going to live on in time. Yeah, you really want to make sure the brows still do stand out for your photos yeah. for sure. And another great way to do that is with a little texture and a little volume to the brow. So what if someone doesn't have thick eyebrows? What Trust do you me. do? I don't wake up with these every day. Okay. So, I <laughs> um, so a great fiber gel uh -huh. is a way to build that volume and the appearance of actual hair. And we have a product called Gimme Brow. You could uh -huh. actually kind of back comb it uh -huh. and it, it, it adheres to the brow hair. So we like to kind of back comb so it. So it thickens it up. Yeah, a bit. it's amazing. And then yeah. comb those hairs back into place and it gives that illusion of volume. And I think it also just softens it for a really natural look still too. Mm -hmm. So it can be used any, over any other powder or pencil as well. And how did you get interested in, in the art of the brows? I have to say, I've always been a beauty junkie. Uh -huh. I went to FIT as well. Did you? Uh, I did, but in our cosmetics and fragrance oh, yeah. Uh, department. Be yeah. So <laughs> so I know, I'm not. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and I found my home with benefit because of brows. It's just what we do. And just, it's a great product. It People is. People love it. And we so. have the services that go along with it. A tint, yeah. a wax. You really want to get in shape before your big day. Yes. Um, and brows, you know, need that that little bit of work as well sometimes. That's fantastic. Yeah. So we'll have information so everybody can get their brow mapping done, figure out how to enter the contest. And we also have another gown, we right? Do. We have another gown. Oh my God, that is so unbelievable. Oh well, I'm all about this. I'm one for sleeves because I, I never Beautiful. love my upper arms. Oh. Um, so it's that this is, is Lissandra. Yeah, and it. as you can see, this is another huge trend that's happening: lots of layering. So it's all about dimension mm -hmm. underneath the netting, a Chantilly lace. And it's a soft English and net adds overlay. Dimension, don't you it's think? so beautiful. beautiful. It just creates this this look wow. of of beauty. Really, there's no other way to describe it. And the off the shoulder, as Jackie O wore, yes. as many of our brides yeah. are wearing now, and the tapered sleeves. But they're they're very sheer. So this is what we were talking about earlier with summer weddings. This is so beautiful for a summer wedding. Right. I it, would totally wear. It that. doesn't look heavy. Yeah. It still is light and airy. And the back has um, all nude illusion with the buttons. I love that because finishing. that has like a very vintagey look. So I'm partial to anything vintage, that is also. an homage to vintage. I agree. And vintage. the beading is very soft and tonal, which is another huge trend. And one of the things that sets morally apart is the quality Absolutely. that you use in terms of your fabrics. Do you have a preference for summer or what's trending right now? For the quality of the of yeah, the just like what is there a certain like? Do you use silk? Or well, we actually don't use a lot of silk. Okay. But I, I 
source fabrics from all over the world, and I make sure that everything is breathable, yeah. movable, so that the, they hug Would this be the a body. cotton, or is that not it's, something It's actually a blend. A blend. It's, it's a rayon poly. Yeah some nylons in there, some spandexes in there. There's lots of shapewear actually going into the dresses now. Uh -huh. So we're putting in um, bump up oh, <laughs> uh, nice. bus cups, uh -huh. which it's almost like a Wonder Bra built into yes, the dress. Yes. So you have these nude backs and low backs and it, it fits great. We're also putting shapewear inside mm. the, the bottom layer that hugs the body. So you and that makes anything. all the difference it's in the amazing. world. It's all about like how to shape yourself underneath. Absolutely. Yeah. And the girls are loving it because it's about comfort. Yeah. And anything that stretches just a little bit. Right. We have a quick five segment where um, we uh, asked our audience some questions they have about bridal wear. Okay. Should we sit down? Sure. Or should we sit down? Okay. So how far in advance... This is one question. Should I shop for my wedding gown? I usually tell brides to at least five to six months. Mm -hmm. um, lead time is anywhere from 12 to 14 weeks on delivery of okay. a wedding gown. So you need time for alterations and fittings. Mm -hmm. But most brides, it's the first thing they shop for. Yeah. So they usually, a lot of them are a year out, sometimes more. But I wouldn't go under the five-month mark. Okay, okay. And... Who should, this one, another question, who should I bring with me to my appointment to look for a wedding gown? It really depends, but I think the people that mean the most to you yeah. and that are going to be the most honest with you and really embrace that moment because it's such an emotional buy. Yeah. And you want people there that are going to create memories with you. And also share in your joy. Yes. Absolutely. You True. Because you want yeah. that person pulling for you. Yes. I went with my mother and she was like the perfect person right. to go with because we were kind of in sync, believe it or not. I found my dress early on. I kind of knew what I wanted. She was supportive of it. And I never, ever regretted my dress. I have to tell you what I did regret. My hair. Oh. <laughs> my, my mother said, wear your hair up. Wear your hair up. I was like, and, and still to this day, yeah, you don't know it. Yeah, we can wear it a different way. But, you know, that's not really what matters. I mean, you know, with you Photoshop, look, with yeah. Photoshop, you can make yourself look any way you want. Okay. This is from a bigger bride okay. to be. I'm a bigger plus size gal. Should I still consider wearing a sleeveless wedding gown? Absolutely. Okay. Whatever you're comfortable in. Yeah. We have a collection. Uh, it's called our Julietta collection. It's it's women's sizes. Okay. And they're made special for larger, larger, curvier women. Yeah. And why shouldn't you wear a strapless gown if you want yeah. to? If you feel beautiful in, in it I'm and if you're comfortable, yeah. go for it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, is a non-white gown ever an option? Oh, color is key now. Who wore red? I feel like somebody I wore a red. I don't know. Maybe I dreamt it. We we have the size of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Madeline, for not leaving me out there naked. <laughs> no, but well, as you can see, the models just had on. Yeah. They're layered with uh, caramel, champagne, uh, with ivory creme, ivory rose. Pink is huge yeah. underneath. Blush tones. Everyone loves color. Now. And also for a second wedding, too. Oh, absolutely. People can be a True. little bit more non-traditional. Yeah. When is a good time to throw out the bridal rules? You know, I say go for it. Anytime. Like, anytime. anytime. Yes. Anytime. Whatever makes you happy, it's your day. Yeah. You have to do what makes you feel yeah. wonderful. Yeah, and I, and I think that people do have an idea of how they want to look. So in terms of the brow and, and working on the makeup piece, how far in advance should a, bri mm. a bride come to you or even the bride party, the bridal party? Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people love to get trials done, which I yeah. think is super important. Yeah. Um, but specifically for brows, you want to get them maintained before the big day. And I don't mean just a day or two. I think it's important to, you know, check in with your local boutique and maybe get a service even six months in advance and you can yeah. keep it up from there so you feel comfortable with right. it and you want to get used to your look yes exactly you like a, a strikingly new look you want to be yourself yeah yes did i miss anything 
Is there anything you can think of that would be important for our brides to be, or I future think, bride, bride's moms? Well, or? I think that the most important thing I find now when I when I go to a wedding or when I'm working with the bride at a trunk show is weddings are so personalized mm -hmm. now. It's all about the bride and the groom. Yeah. And I think when you're shopping for your dress, when you're doing mm -hmm. your makeup, whatever you're choosing, make it about yourself and let that. Let it shine through, shine right? through yeah, at your wedding. And when I go to weddings and I get that feeling, it's so much fun. It's yeah. it, And everyone has a great time yes. embracing the bride and groom. Absolutely. Absolutely. Remind us again about the special program that you're sure. starting. Yeah. Sure. So we've partnered, like Benefits Partner with Maura Lee mm -hmm. from July 6th through August 31st. You can head to Maura Lee's website for more details. Mm -hmm. But essentially, you'll get a code to head into a benefit boutique near you. And you'll get a complimentary brow mapping and a little make upper, and right. you'll kind of and have the world of brows. Yeah. Gown. These gorgeous gowns. Here, come, come, so we can get you. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. You can cover me. Yeah. yeah. Come on in. This is gorgeous. Okay. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget to head to the website so we can share all the information if you missed any of this information about Jessica and Benefit and the brow mapping and Madeline and Maura Lee and all winning a free gown. Design. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's just it's just perfect. And get ready for that summer wedding. And we want to see the pictures. Yes. If you move forward, we want to see everything. And I'll be showing more historical pictures of my family um, and their bridal gowns oh, from right. way back in the day. <laughs> Including Allie and her parents. We have an old picture of them as well from my wedding. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.